Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today, we are going to solve one example related to the soil mechanics in which we have to find the unknown parameters of the soil sample. Let's suppose there is a cylinder of height 6 cm and diameter of 5 cm and the soil sample has been placed in this cylinder. And we want to find the unknown parameters like the water content, the bulk density, the dry density, the wide ratio and the degree of saturation of the soil sample. As we are given with the known data, the wet weight uh, of the soil sample, like in wet condition, after putting in oven and we get the dry weight of the soil sample comes out to be 1.8 Newton while the wet weight was 2.2 Newton. The specific gravity of the soil sample is 2.50 while the unit weight of the water which is known to us uh, by the standards is 9.8 kN per cubic meter. So the first thing is to find the water content. To find the water content, we, we can use this formula, the weight rate of the soil sample minus the weight rate of the dry sample divided by the weight or the dry weight of the sample. So by putting the values, water content will come out to be the weight, weight of the soil sample is 2.2, the dry weight after uh, drying the soil sample comes out to be 1.8, dividing it by the 1.8 dry weight comes out to be uh, 0.22 multiplying it with the hundred percent so 0.22 multiplying with the hundred percent so we get 22 percent water content so the water content in this soil sample is 22 percent by having the weight weight 2.2 in the dry weight 1.8 so all these parameters are important to know that how we find the parameter so these parameters are used in uh, the soil mechanics and also in the some field test. The second one is the, the bulk density. How to find the bulk density? The bulk density is represented by gamma B and it is the ratio of the total mass divided by the total volume of the sample. So the total mass of the sample is known to us which is the weight weight of the soil sample 2.2 Newton divided by the uh, dividing it by the volume and we know that the volume of the sample uh, it is a circular cylinder so uh, its area will be pi r square into height because the area into height we get the volume of the circular cylinder so volume comes out to be pi into r is 2.5 square because diameter is 5 so r comes out to be the radius will be 2.5 into height is 6 so we get the volume which is 117.7 8 centimeter cube by converting into meter cube uh, we get 0 0.000117 meter cube so this is the volume of the soil sample in the units of cubic meter so putting this volume of the cylinder zero, the whole soil sample 117 so the answer comes out to be 18691 newton per cubic meter so in the unit of by changing the newton into kilonewton we divided by 1000 so our answer comes out to be 18.691 kilonewton per cubic meter so this is the way how to find the bulk density now we are going to find the dry density now to find the dry density you see one is the dry density I can use the formula for the dry density is gamma d is equal to the gamma b the bulk density dividing it by the 1 plus water content so now putting the values gamma d is the dry density equal to the gamma b we found out it comes out to be 18.691 kN per cubic meter dividing the 1 plus water content we found out 22% which comes out to be 0.22 so the answer comes out to be 15.32 kN per cubic meter. This is the way how to find the dry density if you know the value of the bulk density and the water content. So you can easily find the dry density. Now the fourth one is the wide ratio. How we find out the wide ratio? We can find the wide ratio by using some relation. If we know that the dry density, we can use the other formula of the dry density which is G gamma w divided by the 1 plus e so we can find the wide, wide ratio by simplify this equation this formula so 
so we can do it here that the 1 plus e equal to the g specific gravity of the salt simple the unit weight of the water divided by the dry density so then we can find the uh, wide ratio we can also find it by more simplification we put the one here minus one so now by putting the values of g which is specific gravity of the salt simple 2.5 n2 gamma w which is 9.8 the unit rate of the water right dividing it by the density of the water the density uh, the dry density of the salt simple which is 15.32 minus 1 so we come it comes out to be 0.59 by multiplying it with the 100 to convert into percentage we get the wide ratio of 59 percent so 59 percent of the wides are present in this soil sample out of 100 so this is the way how to find the wide ratio if we know this basic formula we can easily find the wide ratio by knowing the specific gravity the dry density and the unit weight of the water now the last one is the degree of saturation how we found out the degree of saturation so the last one is the degree of saturation the degree of saturation degree of saturation is represented by dos and usually it is represented by s right so degree of saturation we can use this formula s into e is equal to g into w where s is the degree of saturation e is the wide ratio g is the specific gravity of the water and g is the water content so by putting the respective values or by first simplify this formula g into w dividing it by e we transfer the e onto the right side so we now putting the values of g specific gravity of the water sorry the specific gravity of the salt simple 2.5 water content is 0.22 we know it and the y ratio is also 0.59 or 59 percent 0.59 right so after calculating these values we get 0.93 or multiplying it with the 100 we get 93 percent so the degree of saturation in this soil simple having the value of specific gravity of 2.50 the water content of 22 percent the wide ratio of 59 percent we have degree of saturation of this soil simple is 93 percent hope you guys understand how to find the different parameters of the soil simple with known data uh, and these all parameters are really important to find the uh, uh, to find the different tests uh, during the field hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video